remember that pre-writing is when a writer decides what to write about, collects ideas and details, and makes a plan. Today, I want to show you some strategies you can use to come up with ideas for your writing. First, I'm going to show you a few ways to come up with a topic to write about. We write best about things we already know about. Here are two strategies for thinking about things you're already familiar with. The first activity is called the writer's eye, E-Y-E. -E. The second activity is also called the writer's eye, but the I is the capital letter I. For the first activity, the writer's eye, E-Y-E, -E, you start by drawing an eye in the middle of your paper. Next, all around the eye, you write things that you see every day. Think about all the people, places, and things you see each day from the time you wake up until the time you go to bed and write them down. For the second activity, the writer's eye, capital I, you start by drawing a huge block lettered capital I on your paper. Next, inside the capital I, you write about all the things you consider yourself to be an expert in, or at least things you might know more about than some of your friends or family. Another way to come up with topics for your writing is to draw a heart map. You start by drawing a large heart on a sheet of paper. Next, you divide the heart into about six pieces or more. In each of these pieces of your heart, draw pictures and write about something or someone that is important to you or something that's happened in your life that you'd like to remember. Here's my heart map. I chose topics about events in my life I'd like to remember well, like the times I traveled to India, Hawaii, and, or Peru, and my wedding day. If I wanted to add more pieces, I might write about my mom, the house I grew up in, or our family dog. Now that I've shown you some strategies for coming up with topics, let's look at some strategies for pre-writing once you've decided on a topic. First, you can brainstorm. Writers commonly use thought clusters or webs to brainstorm ideas about their topic. First, you write your topic and circle it. Then you draw a cluster of circles around it and connect it to your topic. In those circles, you write ideas, details, and descriptions related to your topic. You can continue this process of connecting circles until you run out of ideas. Second, you can ask questions about your topic. Ask yourself who, what, when, where, why, and how. Write answers about your topic next to each of those questions. Third, you can free write about your topic. Set a timer for two to five minutes and write about whatever comes to your mind. Don't stop moving your pencil across the page until the timer is up. Then see what ideas you were able to generate about your topic. Once you have your topic and have generated plenty of ideas about your topic, you should plan your writing by creating an outline, including information about the beginning, middle, and end of your project. An outline is kind of like a playbook for football players or athletes. Just as a coach uses a playbook to organize and position his team on the field, an outline helps the writer organize and plan his writing before he begins his rough draft. 